Hi everyone, our NBA Playoffs promo, getting everybody motivated to get into basketball. I love it. 17-18 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball, our last four-box random team break of the night. Thank you everyone for filling that up. Be Big thanks to these folks right here, specifically. Thanks everybody. All teams are in. Here are the last four boxes right there. So let's randomize each list. Four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and a one, five times. EA down to Jared. Four and a one, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and a one, five times. After five times, we've got the Wizards down to the Bulls. All right, so Eric, you're a wizard, Eric. With the Washington Wizards, James, you got the T-Wolves, Scott with the Nets, Rich with the Rockets, Rick with the Hawks, Joe with the Mavs, uh, Chris with the Pistons, Mark with the Warriors, Jeff with the Blazers, Mark with the Nuggets, EA with the Grizz, Scott, you got the Cavs, Chris McKee, you got the Heat, EA, Knicks, Bucks, Pacers, Chris with the Lakers, my Lakers, Andy with a little bit of magic, Scott Parker, Clip Show, Kyle with the C's, Darren, you got the Pelicans. Jason with the Kings. Mark with the Sixers. Landon with the Hornets. Jazz for Mark. James from the Suns with the Suns. Ryan with the Thunder. EA with the Raptors. Rich with the Spurs. And Jared with the Bulls. Let's alphabetize by team. Anybody interested in trading? <laughs> he doesn't like the randomizer. Eric says all of his teams are up for trade. If anybody's interested in the Pacers, Grizzlies, Bucks, Knicks, Raptors, or Wizards. This is why I like to pick your teams better. In a random team break, I get two... I, there's double layers of sadness, right? A, a person can be unhappy with the randomizer. B, those teams don't hit. That's two sad levels, right? In a pick your team break... There's only one level of sadness from someone. Only one disappointment. Just not getting a hit. That's why I'm uh, not a big fan of the random. Everyone loves it, though. We, we, the pick your teams generally sell better, but... All right, unfortunately, we're going to have to go. Hey, maybe there'll be some tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo. Trade window closed. That is a thing. All right, or or just just a sad night. Yeah, yeah Rich likes yeah. But there, the, Rich does like the sort of the randomness of the the, the gamble of it. Hey, pay seventeen bucks, get the Sixers. You know, could be pretty big. All right, hot off the presses. There's the final list on a Friday. Thanks for hanging out with us, folks. On a Friday night, watching sports, discussing sports, popping open boxes and cases and trying to pull big hits for everybody. So you can tell by those, those Wolverine scratch marks. They're all from the same case. So now, now the only optic we have at the moment is uh, the full case break. The full case picker team on jazbeeshobbyland.com. All right. Good luck, everyone. There we go. Discuss a lot of playoff basketball. Got a lot of thoughts from everybody, which is good. I guess my, my thinking on the West, my, my gut says that the, that the Timberwolves, I think, are not just not are not going to really, are going to get beat by the Rockets pretty handily, I think. I think I think the Rockets get a sweep against the Timberwolves. Maybe they squeeze out a game, the Wolves, but I just don't think it's going to, it's going to happen. I think the Rockets are just too good. 
Thunder and Jazz. I think the Thunder take it in a hard-fought series, which might not be good for them if they face the, a well-rested Rockets team. From there, I think the Rockets would beat the Thunder. And they go move on to the conference finals. At the bottom part of that bracket on the west, Blazers, Pelicans. I think the Blazers will do just fine against the Pelicans. Um, I think the Warriors will... That Warrior Spurs series, I think, will be a hard-fought series. But I think the, the Warriors should be able to pull that series off even without Steph Curry in the first round. Now, when they meet the Blazers, if they're not 100%, if they don't have Steph Curry 100%, that could be that could be interesting. We'll have to discuss that at that time. But 25 out of 39, Hassan Whiteside, Black Velocity for Chris and the Heat. Right. Oh, that would have been an interesting trade. Ryan Anderson Rockets. That goes to Rich. Boombox was saying, who has the Jazz, Boombox was saying, I was almost thought about offering the Jazz to Eric for all of EA's teams, and EA says he probably would have done it. There's John Collins for the Hawks, rated rookie. Autograph for Vic and the Hawks. Lime Green, Tyler Ulis. Ulis? Ulis? Damari Carroll. We got Dave Bing, Lime Green for the Pistons. Jared Allen. Dwight Howard for Charlotte. Justin Jackson in the back there. That Dwight Howard Blue for Charlotte for Landon. 16 out of 49. The Lime Greens out of 175. Retro Series Dave Bing for the Pistons out of 175. That goes to Chris Newton. And for the Suns, that'll be for James. 156 out of 175 on the Tyler Ulis. Next box. So once the, once the Blazers meet the Warriors, go back to that. Once the Blazers meet the Warriors, I'm not too sure what's going to happen there. I'm kind of hoping Blazers, if they're, if they're clicking, if they're clicking on all the cylinders, I like the Blazers there, especially if the Warriors are banged up a little bit. And then that Rockets Blazer series, I think, would be pretty incredible. Distance, maybe? It'll go six or seven games. On the East, Raptors Wizards. I think the Raptors will comfortably win that series. I think the Wizards will get it close here and there, but in the end, it'll be four a sweep or a four to one or something like that. Cavs and Pacers. I could see the Cavs like losing an early series game. Or maybe even two that would freak out the Cavs, and then they'll then they'll turn it on to beat the Pacers. Sixers Heat. I think the Sixers have too much firepower. They'll move on. Celtics Bucks could be a really interesting series. I'm I'm really leaning, really leaning Bucks in that one. Even though they're the seventh seed, I'm really leaning Bucks because I just don't think the Celtics have been banged up too. No Kyrie. No, 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 this guy either, but they've been without that guy for the entire season, so. But I think losing Kyrie and then depending on this guy, rookie, they do got they do have good coaching though, but meaning Bucks there. So let's see. If it's Raptors Cavs, the Raptors finally get one over on the Cavs. Raptors moving on to the conference finals. Celtics. So let's say it's Bucks Sixers. Bucks Sixers, that's interesting. It's Bucks Sixers. Well, they will have a healthy Embiid by then, I think. I think Embiid will be healthy in the, the middle of the first round. The Sixers maybe move on. Raptors Sixers? I think at that point the Raptors have to beat the Sixers. I think the inexperience of the Sixers will eventually catch up with them in a conference final matchup. So what am I saying? Am I saying Blazers Raptors? That sounds crazy. 
Might not be that crazy. I'm kind of glad it's not just automatic warriors and, and calves, though, as a neutral. 41 out of 49, Kyrie for the Celtics. Uh, Kyle Harper has the Celtics. 41 out of 49 on that one. And we've got out of 39, Zach Randolph for the Kings. That'll be for Jason Lawner with Sacramento. That's Black Velocity, 6 out of 39. We got Lime Green, Damari Carroll. We got De'Aaron Fox, the rookies. Not a hollow, but I like those inserts, though. There's Damari Carroll to 175 for the Nets. That'll be for Scott Parker, 37 out of 175. Lime Green, Dennis Smith Jr. I should easily cover the spot, Joe. Joe Fagundis with that one. One fifty out of one seventy five. George Hill, orange for the Kings. Out of one ninety nine. And Ronnie Turioff. Oh man. I kinda miss this guy. Ronnie Turioff for the Lakers. Going out to Chris Newton. Fan favorite. High energy guy off the bench. All right. Not quite the Kyle Kuzma or the Lonzo Ball that you may have been hoping for, but I'm excited about it. I like that guy. All right, two boxes to go. So halfway through this uh, third of a case break way through this four box break. Good luck everybody. Now, those are my personal personal picks. For the hobby, what's best for the hobby? What's best for the hobby is is Jason Tatum balling out, destroying the Bucks, destroying the Sixers, destroying the Cavs or Raptors and winning the whole darn thing. That's good for the hobby. Even though I'm a Lakers fan, I can't really I don't endorse the Celtics winning it all, but that's good for it's good for us. It's good for the hobby. Uh, on the other side, you want Donovan Mitchell of the Jazz to just destroy the Thunder, crush the Rockets, just embarrassing James Harden left and right, just breaking ankles, uh, and then high flying his way past the Warriors right into the finals. So Jazz Celtics final would be best for the hobby. Donovan Mitchell squaring off against Jason Tatum. That's what you, that's that's what you want if you're rooting for the hobby. <laughs> if you're rooting for for basketball. Yeah, Sixers too, but eh. Ben Simmons is autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck, so that that's what you want to see. I know I've been eyeing that game, Joe P. Not pleased, not pleased at all. At least at least. I have Goldschmidt on my fantasy team is what I was thinking, but then he's only one for four. So that doesn't help me at all either. Now, it has been like this all day, Joe P. Well, we'll see what happens by the end of the season, Joe, but as for now, Diamondbacks are playing some good ball. I'm sure they'll regress the mean soon enough. Ben Simmons... Hollow, no autographs for Ben Simmons. He's exclusive to Upper Deck, but those those cards still do have value. I guess that'll be good for the hobby. Reggie Jackson, any guesses on this redemption? Pistons, thirty-eight out of forty-nine. That'll go to Chris Newton. Clyde Drexler, Dennis Smith Jr. Another one. It's another one for Joe Fugunas and the Mavs. Would have been nice to see Dennis Smith Jr. in the playoffs too. 
out of 199. EA guessing Kuzma on that one, on that redemption. All clear for takeoff out of 175, Lime Green, Blake Griffin. Another Lime Green, his old teammate, Juwan Evans. Yeah, Joe's like, hey, might as well get me the Dennis Smith Jr. Uh, autograph at this point. Out of 175, there's Juwan Evans for the Clippers, Scott Parker, Blake Griffin. That's still Clippers edition of Blake Griffin, too. That is also for Scott Parker. So we've got Mitchell, Donovan Mitchell. That's what Boombox wants. Kuzma guesses EA. There's Brandon Ingram. Pink Velocity, 58 out of 79. Joe Fugudis wants the Dennis Smith Jr. autograph, by the way, too. What does that look like from all the way over there? It's Dennis Smith Jr. Rated rookie signature is Dennis Smith Jr. for Joe Fagundes and the Dallas Mavericks. Wow. Man, even if you bought this in a full case break, I feel like you would have gotten your cost of admission back in a full case break. But with these couple parallels, this autograph, and whatever else is going to be in here, <laughs> and in a four-box random team break, well, that is not, not too shabby at all, Joe. That is strong. All right. Last box. Good luck, boys and girls. Here we go. Here we go. It's a me, Mario. Right? That's from some video game, I think. Maybe the Mario Kart game, something like that. All right. And looks like I think that Spectra, that sixteen seventeen Spectra basketball is now full. Yeah, so that's going to come up after this. How are we doing on Flawless is still holding at 12. And I and that uh full case of optic basketball is still at 13. So, by the time this break is over, and by the time Spectra basketball is over, we'll probably be in the last hour of the broadcast around there. So we have time for maybe one or two more breaks before we call it. And then we'll have one more night tomorrow. And we'll go. Oh, is it Mario 64? Is that where I'm getting that? Here we go. Do we need more fun sound effects? I already got the train whistle, but maybe uh, maybe a little, like a table bell. Bing, 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 bing. Something like that. I know basketball arenas use the uh, the one up, the old Mario Brothers one up sound, or no, the coin sound. Do ding. All right. There's Pascal Siakam for the Raptors. Dino DNA. It's Markel Fultz, the rookies. Not a hollow, but still still pretty cool. Raptors. To 99, 94 out of 99, that'll be for EA. Nicola Batum. Lime Green, DeLon Wright. One twelve out of one seventy five. And Giannis Antetokounmpo, blue, 49 out of 49. And 
Our autograph is, wow, Hall Dominators, Carl Malone. Hi, I'm Carl Malone. That's how he, that's how he talks. 33 out of 49, at least when he was on the Lakers. Hey, Carl, Carl Malone. Not all. Kind of a low voice. And kind of mumbled a little bit. Carl Malone. Utah Jazz edition of Carl Malone, not Lakers edition of Carl Malone. That goes to Boom Box. Mark Glassman with that one. So I guess our, our Donovan Mitchell quest still continues. There's TJ Leaf, rated rookie hollow. Kevin Love for the Cavs, orange. Pink Velocity for Dwight Howard. And that is that, folks. For Charlotte, Landon with the Dwight, 262 out of 79. The orange, Kevin Love for Scott Parker, 006 out of 199. And the hollow rated rookie, TJ Lee for the Pacers. That'll go to EA. There you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That, uh, that was break three. Our final random team break of Optic Basketball. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.